Tricky! I know you hear me calling you! Tricky! Wake up, you dumb little motherfucker! Get your ass up and get out my house! I ain't gonna tell you again! Nigga, you better go to school or I'm gonna put my foot in your ass! Tricky! Get up! Tricky! Someone must have broken my heart Like really torn it apart In another life In another life Someone must have really fucked Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could you do you would you want you you could <laughs> children children calm down We operate in the realm where whispers hold more power than screams. We're facilitators of fate. People hire us for a particular service, a service that requires precision, discretion, and an unwavering commitment to silence. We're in the business of removing obstacles. Clients pay handsomely for a skilled hand to guide fate. Some call it justice. Others call it revenge. We just call it a job. Clients provide the instrument of choice. Knives, poisons, firearms, each case tailored to a different taste. Precision is our mantra, but mistakes happen. You'll know you succeeded when the silence speaks louder than anything else. But if doubts linger, you check, always check. Confirm the termination. If not, you go back and you finish the job. That's why we're shadows. Always in the background, never in the spotlight. The less they know about us, the better. Once the task is complete, you lock away your tools, clean, meticulous, and silent ready for the next client. We can't be playing games with Tricky. Dude crossed the line and we need to settle this for good. Nah, T, that ain't the move. We gotta think smart. Pay the man his bread and then we negotiate. He fucking my girl up. So we ain't gonna call the cops. You tripping, I ain't no snitch, man. Stop talking about the police. For real, it's not a good look. He's been disrespecting us for too long. It's time to show him we're serious. T, I get it, but we gotta think about this. If they don't kill him, he's coming for all of us nonstop. We got a better shot at getting him the rest of this money. So what if they call me a snitch? We can't be playing with someone's life. I ain't trusting the law. They don't know our streets. And what, you think a combination gonna solve everything? Yeah, Akim, sometimes you gotta speak the language, they understand. T. Let's try the money first. Negotiate with Tricky. We ain't gotta get involved in the street mess. But if he's still playing games, we do it my way. Sometimes you gotta handle your business the street way. I still think we should call the cops. Why is Wilson so defensive about this case? I've never seen him like this before. There's something he's not saying. What's he hiding? Castle called for me. Why me? Confessing to multiple murders, revealing a code of secrecy about underground assassins. This isn't your everyday confession. There's a darker layer here. Assassins in the shadows. A code of secrecy. What kind of twisted underworld am I stepping into? Castle's words echoed in my mind. What's the real game here? Storage units. Tricky. Why are they intertwined in this enigma? Are the storage units hiding more than just physical evidence? And Tricky. A name whispered in the streets. 
What's his role in all of this? Wilson knows more than he's saying. Castle's confession might be the key. The city has secrets, and I'm just starting to scratch the surface. This isn't a normal case. It's a labyrinth of lies, deceit, and hidden agendas. I need to tread carefully and find the core of this twisted web before it entangles us all. Hey bro, are you expecting a package? It's weird. It, it doesn't have a return label on it. And I, I, there's no address. It just has your name written on it. Nothing I can think of. I don't know who would be sending me a package.